baby sweet She's so petite And the way my baby boogies It knocks me off my feet Hi, welcome. My name is Kurt Sensor. This is Patty Purple assisting me. Today we want to cover understanding lead and follow and frame and connection, which is very important in the dance as far as being able to dance with your partner as one. So what I want to do is cover and talk about frame. What is frame? Okay, when we talk about frame in the posture here, um, if I'm in ballroom, whether it's ballroom or it's Latin, Latin tends to be a little more compact, that um, if I'm in a frame, basically a frame is right here, that connection, if I walk away, I step in, kind of like lock it in like a puzzle here. When we move, when we talk about breaking frame, to give an example, if I were to break frame, my shoulder joints would be loose. So if I were to move from here, see how I'm, my body's moving, but she doesn't feel me leading her. So if I'm breaking the shoulder here, if it's breaking the frame, she doesn't feel my lead. She feels something happening, but she doesn't feel that lead. So what I want to do is I want to keep that solid, so wherever I go, if I'm turning with my torso, she just stays in front of me so that she can feel a solid lead. So if I'm gonna start here, through, that wherever I go, if I turn, she's gonna stay right in front of me. If I break frame and I turn, she gets away from me. Now I'm leading it and we're getting loose. So now whenever that happens, whether it's a, the uh, followers breaking or the leaders, if she breaks, then I can't really lead her. So it's kind of like driving a car and the steering wheel not really working with the tires. All right, so you want to think of that that solid. So keeping that frame here, if you move away, if you watch me if I turn, it's locked in here. I can actually move my shoulder and my elbows, but as long as my shoulder joints aren't moving, I feel more of a solid frame. Again, it's, it's through my whole body, leading with the body, okay? So that's what we talk about when we say solid frame or your breaking frame. Now, the other thing is, we talk about also being light on the floor. The smallest girl can be the heaviest person on the floor and the heaviest woman can be the lightest person on the floor. It's how they use their body. So basically when we talk about that is, it's kind of like you want to think, make sure your brakes aren't on when you're dancing. So when I'm moving, that when I start to move my body, that her body, she's going to feel that lead through my frame. As soon as she feels that, she's going to start to move away, okay? If she doesn't, and she kind of pushes back while I lead her, now she's like, I have to push, and she's got her brakes on while I'm moving her. Okay, so ladies, you want to think about, for the leaders, I'm going to lead with my center, talking about from here center in here, the body, the torso pretty much. As I move and I start to lead, notice that I'm going to start to move my body into her. Okay, so I don't want to lead with the arms. If you get there, then it becomes more of a uh, pushy kind of person. You don't want to be pushy there. So again, I want to start to take my body into her and then I step, boom, as I step into that. Okay, she feels, she feels that lead. Her body is going to start to move away when she feels my frame pushing her, her body moves away. And the more I push, the faster she's going to move, okay? So when I go into it, whether I go from here and I lead and I walk away, she's there, she feels me connect. As I start to move slowly, she moves. If I go faster, she moves faster, okay? So ladies, you want to think about the more you feel the pressure here, it doesn't mean push back, it means move that body away from them. Start moving that body, okay? That's going to be light on your feet, but still having that connection. The other part I want to talk about is um, understanding the body flight. And basically, we kind of touched up a little bit on it. The body flight being uh, how I use my body, whether I'm going forward or back. So as I move into it, my body flight to be into it. So I'm not getting my feet ahead of me, that my body is going to start to move. And then as I step into it, boom, boom, move ac across the floor. So ladies, same thing. If you're going back and you're following, start to lead, you want to think about is that step of falling and then moving so that moves you, so you become again light. So using that body of flight to help you keep light on your feet, think of that center moving back and moving forward with that first, okay? Understanding connection. So what is connection? So connecting with my partner as I'm dancing, I want to feel that I know where they are all the time. And again, she wants to feel that lead, where I, what, I, she's lead what I am going to be leading her into, okay? So as I dance, she, so that she's like, sometimes it's see that I, I don't know what he's leading me, all right? Or as a leader, it would be, 
I'm not sure where she's at. She's kind of disappeared. She's there. So having a constant connection always knows where one partner is to the other and makes a better follower, better leader. So when I talk about connection, whether it is a double handhold, so a connection basically being if I were to move away, she puts her hands there, I'm going to look and see is she there, where is she at. So if I have my eyes closed, I can kind of tell that she's there, right there. If I go here, the hands stay there. So for the, as a follower, you want to kind of keep your hands in one place so that I'm going to look where she's at. I'm going to establish a connection. Here's where I want to be careful is that is you've, if he kind of establishes a connection and you start to pull back, okay, then you start to become a leader or you start to become heavy. So I want, to, I want as a leader to feel that she's very light on her feet. If she starts pulling back, then that's where she becomes heavy. So she wants to think of it, you want to think of it as slightly toning the arms. Slightly tone as I pull, her body starts to follow. Okay, same thing if I connect in here, I'm going to look for where she's at. So you're going to hold the shape, ladies. So if I try to distort her shape, she's going to keep that shape. That way I feel it. So I can just go a little bit. Okay, I feel a connection right there from her center. So when I move, her whole center body moves as one. Okay, as a leader, same thing here. My connection, I kind of connect, feel the pressure. As a leader, I'm also going to lead from here, this hand on the back, the frame. If I connect here, a lot of my lead comes right through here too. If I put the hand on the back, she places the hand here so that if I want to lead with one hand, I can actually, without the hand on the back, she can feel me leading her just with that connection. I'm kind of making her step to each step. If I box it, step, I pull her to this step, here, take her to this step. If I put the hand on the back, it makes it even easier. I can even use my fingertips and the heel of my hand as I take her. I can kind of pull a little bit with the fingertips, push with the hand to each step. So I want to lead her to each step so I'm going to place her back, once I get her there, I'll take her to the side, take her forward, take her to the side. So for a leader, you want to kind of keep that arm tone so that if it's, again, if it's loose, there's your breaking frame so that she sees that we are moving as one. Now sometimes if I'm leading, I can kind of clamp down here a little bit, pressure, so that she can't get away if she tries to go somewhere. Again, she's going to feel exactly where I want her to go, whether I turn a lot or a little. Okay, so kind of keeping that shape, kind of tone. If you, in the beginning, you'll kind of tone. You might get a little tired with those arms, but think about it, moving, kind of toning the muscles there. You want to push, you don't want to pull. Again, it's with the body. The arms follow the body. Your body's really leading her. If I move this way, my arms really don't move. My arms, body will move my arms, so she follows through. All right, so lead and follow with your body. Again, talking about a little bit before. So if I'm leading with my body again, I start to move first and then I move into her. My arms aren't moving, if you notice when I'm going forward. So here's where you get into trouble from the beginners when I think of, you don't want to do this, kind of gets in trouble. Anytime you use your arms, you become a little bit more pushy. It becomes a lot. If I use my body, sometimes it feels strong, but as long as my body, my center, that's what she wants to feel. Again, if I go with one arm, and I'll show you from this angle here, that if you watch me in her head, and her head going with me, steps, wherever I go, she's with me. But sometimes if I do this, that's when that arm's loose. Sometimes the guy's thinking a loose arm. So I really want to tone that. I'm almost going to think about leading her slightly before me. I'm really going to tone that, because I'm going to do a pattern here. So I can do various patterns where I can go side, side. She doesn't know what I'm going to do, but I'm really going to tone that arm that she goes with me whether it's forward, back, you notice we're moving as one through. Okay? So every time I lead a pattern that I want to make sure that ahead of time, I'm really going to tone that arm so, because if she's going to, she may try to go off this way, but I'm really going to hold her there because she doesn't know which pattern's coming next because she's in kind of default mode on the last pattern that I'm doing. So again, the other part, moving as one with your partner, and that's going to be really taking a hold of her, whether I go to side, 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 side together, side. So I'm really toning that frame. I might have to be solid with it so that my body is going to feel stiff. Think of it, you're almost in a plaster cast. You can't move those shoulder joints, okay? Eventually you'll be able to relax. At first it might seem a little tiring, but it'll get a little easier as you go. So practice those tips so you have a nice solid frame, become a nice follower, a beautiful leader. All right, thank you.